When submitting your music to music libraries, I highly recommend you focusing on these four things when submitting. Choosing your best music to submit, researching the library and seeing how your music fits, submitting correctly based off their submission protocol, and standing out slash professionalism. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to break these things down. I'm going to show you exactly how you can start submitting to these music libraries. If you don't know me, I go back to Calibre Zero, the music producer you can grow with, and I help musicians become full-time by creating a back-end stream of revenue through sync licensing. First step on the list is choosing your best music. And what I mean by that is taking three to five of your best tracks that show energy a little bit of variety and just showcase your skills as far as a producer or a musician tracks that have a lot of dynamics and change as perfect you don't want anything that's too loop based that sounds very repetitive because in tv this format is a little bit different and lastly having a great mix you don't need a super super professional mix just make sure your mix sounds clean you have nice dynamic range a little bit punch and loudness to your music when a music editor is listening to your music and they're comparing it to different tracks a music editor is the person who's actually editing the music for a TV show. When they're listening to your music and choosing the best track for the scene, a lot of the times when they're skimming through music, there will be a very quiet track compared to a lot of loud tracks. You want to make sure that you're not one of the quiet tracks because you don't stand out that way. Even if your beat sounds better, it might not sound as dynamic to the other ones because of just the loudness alone. So make sure you have a nice punch to it. I usually like to have my beats at at least negative nine luffs in the short term end. So make sure that you have at least negative nine or a little bit louder if you want. Measure A good way to measure your luffs is using Ulean meter. It's for free. It's a plugin that you can put on your master channel just to monitor the short-term luffs of your actual track and see what the perceived loudness of your music is. Step two, I'm gonna be sharing my screen here and that's researching the libraries and seeing how your music fits. When you're collecting your list of libraries, whether if you're actually researching yourself or going on a music library directory, I highly recommend taking a couple of minutes and just researching the music library, looking on their website, seeing what kind of clients they work with, see their about us section, get a sense of how they operate. As you can see on the screen, there's a music library from my actual extensive music library directory. I do have a free music library directory you can find on my site or you'll find in the description below a video of how you can find music libraries or if you don't want to do all that extra legwork and want an extensive list i have a list of 200 libraries that you can submit to categorized by the style of music they have and the best contact information as far as submissions all included on that directory list as well as a free mini tutorial with the best practices when submitting to this music library this is one of the libraries that is included on that list but as you can see on, on your screen here this is a music library that you can submit to and you can see all the different types of shows they're working on so you can see if your music even fits for this show and i can see their contact information a little bit about them so we can go ahead and research who's the actual creators of this music library what they have to offer and you're just getting information that'll help you when you're submitting to this music library so just knowing this little bit of information about them so one thing i want to do here is see the best practices to submit to the music library you want to make sure they're accepting submissions and the best way to contact them you can see here they're currently adding new music to their library if you're interested in composing for them please fill out the form below now every library is going to be different some libraries want actual links some libraries want attachments some libraries have submission emails some libraries have forms that you can actually submit to so please do your research when you're doing this because this will help you get accepted to a music library just by following simple steps the next thing i want to do that will really help you out as far as submitting to a music library and doing your research is listening to their music so as you can see here there's a search button on here and seeing if they have music on there you want to kind of get an idea of what kind of music they have if your music even fits so if you're like an edm or hip-hop producer and you're submitting to an orchestral trailer library maybe that's not the best library for you you want to make sure that the type of music that you make is acceptable in this music library so as you can see if i'm a hip-hop producer this library accepts all different types of music now let's say i'm a hip-hop producer and i make drill music i'm going to go on to this music library i'm going to see what kind of music they have as far as hip-hop and the best practice for any producer who's trying to get accepted to a music library is seeing how i can stand out so if i'm a drill producer and they don't have drill music on their website that's a great way for me to give some incentive which i'll talk about about how to get accepted into these music libraries now we're going to move on to correctly submitting to the music library based on their protocol as you can see on your screen this is a website that also is included in the music library extensive directory list this library has submission guidelines they tell you how many songs you should be sending what kind of format is acceptable as well as other things that will help you get accepted into this music library like i said you want to make sure that you have the best practices and here's some extra details that will help you as far as submitting to get accepted so if you have a music library that accepts links the best sites that i recommend using is either dropbox box or my favorite disco so disco is one of my favorite websites to use as far as submission i'm not affiliated with them i just think that it's very good if you're trying to submit and the reason why is because it's becoming industry standard 
And the another reason is that you can see who if anybody actually opens up your links, which is dope because if you they didn't look at your link for some reason, you're able to follow up with them. You'll be able to see if they actually opened it. If you are sending through email, make sure that they have an email submission on their website. If you're not sure if, if you're able to email them, if you don't see a, a specific email to submit to them, you can look for an email that's on their website and submit to that email. And make sure if you are submitting to that email, which I'll talk about later in this video, you want to make sure that you're asking for the best person who accepts music submissions. This brings me up to step four, which is standing out slash professionalism. So if you're emailing a music library, a good way to stand out is tell them some services that you offer that will help them make their life easier. So if you're a producer who engineers their own music, you engineer your own vocalist, you have mixing capabilities, that's one incentive. If you're a producer who works in bigger areas like New York or LA and you're able to record some of their artists they may have on their roster, another incentive. If you understand metadata and you know how to import your own metadata, which I can talk about in another video, that's another incentive. So having these different incentives will help you stand out as far as getting accepted to a music library. Another thing that will help you is using disco like I mentioned earlier using the word sampler when you're sending a link so if you say link to your music sampler is really going to help you because it's an industry term or lastly one of my favorite things is submitting using a website link so if you have a direct website landing page that is submitted directly to that music library that you're submitting to it's going to help you stand out here is an email that a music library that I work with sent me that one of the musicians who tried to get accepted into the music library sent them as you can see they sent a link that was a direct landing page to them and if that's something that you want to learn how to do I do know how to make my own website I can help you do that just type in the comments below more website or more website please if that's something you want to learn please let me know but having those things is all incentives that is going to help you stand out outside of just your music there's tons of different musicians out there I'm sure you're talented and there's a lot of talent that they work with already but they want to work with someone who makes their lives easier who's there to serve them and their clients so having those little incentives when you're sending out your email is going to be great also making sure your email is short and sweet you don't want long emails you want to keep it short sweet and to the point and making sure you're speaking to the correct person who accepts submission a bonus tip that's really going to help you is having music in the subject line i always like to keep my subject line short lowercase because it helps you stand out a little bit and separates you from spam and one email that always stuck out to us for the music library i work for is anything that said music in it when i was working for the music library anything that had music in it usually was from clients so just having that one short and sweet subject line is a little bonus tip that I think will help you stand out when submitting to a music library if you're submitting through an email submission. Lastly, as I mentioned earlier, having a link to your sampler. A sampler is just another word for a small playlist of your music. So having that word sampler, it's going to kind of make them feel like they're working with someone who's already in the industry. That's one incentive to help you as well. And those are the four best tips to practice when submitting to a music library. As I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to get the extensive music library directory, you can find it in the description below. That's over 200 music libraries, as well as a small course, as well as some email templates that will help you when submitting to these music libraries. I also have a live stream every Friday at 10 a.m. specific standard time that anybody can submit to where I listen to your music and I tell you why or why not it would fit for TV. So feel free to join us, as well as a course that will help you step by step. I'll hold your hand along the way and I'll show you how to arrange your music as well as other tips that will really help you get accepted into the music library a lot of the people in the community are already getting accepted and some people in the community as well as get are getting their music placed on tv my goal is to help 100 producers get their first placement or 100 musicians get their first placement so far we're at 15 so if you're looking to be a part of that please be sure to check the description below it's your boy skylar zero please give this video a like or subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate you watching all the way through and we're out